Oh, let's not go to here. I'm going to another booby discussion. And today's discussion is a faded booby, and I'm not here alone. I'm a, it's also technically a part two to the previous booby discussion that I did. I will probably briefly. Okay, to give, I'm not going to give my thoughts on that because there's a bigger topic at hand the fate of Ruby. And I'm not here alone. I got Niels Gamer. Hello. And Gazzle Reader. Hey. That's it. You guys are not gonna give you no more intros or something like no nothing. <laughs> uh, not not this not this time. Not this time. At this point, at this point, I don't care. I, like, you bro, even, you didn't even sound like you gave a crap to begin with. <laughs> like, bro, you do you have? This is like another another of you putting me in your freaking videos. Like, don't you have other people to collab with instead of just me or even Neos? I got Kiev and Gojirats. Sky of King Glee. That's about it. <laughs> Most every time, can, to, every time I try to, every time I try you can't be, you can't. Yeah, every time I try to ask, no, they say no, and you can't be bothered to do it on your own. Nope. I need to fight you guys, man. You, you, it's better with more then, people. Then, Stop being then, a party because of then, then you know. Then you know. Do you know what I need to do? Watch my videos or even Neos's videos, especially the earlier ones. Since so uh, most of the topics that we talk about, we do it on we do it on our own. Yeah. Eh, whatever. Eh, whatever. Classic, classic uh, response when you don't know when you're obviously on the wrong side. Anyway, anyway, we're gonna go over what we're talking about. Uh, for those of you who are not aware. About three weeks ago, on March 6th of yeah, March 6th, 2024, at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, a certain article was released by Variety, and basically what the article says is, basically, Rooster Teeth is shutting down. Yep. Rooster Teeth is shutting down after 20... 21 years. 21 years, yeah. It just then, completely went dead. Shut then, down by Warner Brothers. Too. Yep, completely shut down by Warner Brothers and Discovery. Uh, yep, the sim similar shitty tactic that Disney did to Blue Skies. So. Yep, and... And all because of what Rooster, and all because Rooster Steve was not the making making Warner Brothers enough money. There's probably multiple yep. reasons, but that's definitely one of them. That's definitely one of the reasons. I mean, that's what it was announced. That literally the one of the reasons that got uh, that basically got uh, out when it was announced that Rooster Steve was shut down. Yeah, shut down, and we still haven't gotten an update since then. There hasn't been like no updates except for like community posts saying what happened, and I I don't know I haven't been keeping updated. Maybe you guys know what happened after. There hasn't, there just... hasn't, been, there hasn't been anything said. Like there hasn't like I like after the last few weeks that happened. There's not too much that was said else about it except for that one of the former animators from like the earlier volumes dylan goo i hope i'm saying his name I, I hope i'm remembering that name correctly but he was one of the guys who wanted to actually pick up the license like the last time that i checked in about it he wanted like he he, he sorry i can't talk today he himself and his company were planning on picking up the license to ruby to continue the series and not to mention that there were a few other people such as uh glitch that were also planning on helping helping him like basically they were backing for him to get the license however as of right now there hasn't been any updates regarding that part about whether he's acquired the license or if some other network had even got the series right now 
my safe bet is Crunchyroll. To be honest, I I don't know. It's just a gut feeling that Crunchyroll is gonna acquire the license. They already have it on the streaming platform. Just make it a Crunchyroll they're, original. They're probably the and considering the fact that they got the Ice Queen the anime there is like a Crunchyroll original, but that shows also on uh, Rooster Teeth's website. Well, for however however long that still stands up. Yeah, there's probably a chance that they might be like obviously right now they're probably one of the most likely candidates to actually get the license, but whether they actually do or if they decide to give it to somebody else, it's really anyone's guess. My safe assumption is Crunchyroll because they already have Ruby on there, so might as well acquire the license, <laughs> make it a Crunchyroll original. Yeah, but the last time Crunchyroll did originals, most of them didn't end up that well. Yeah, but what if we get the exact animation team for Ruby? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but then what about yeah, but then what about everything else? I mean, you, I mean, that part you also got to make sure if you actually get like the same, I guess some of the same writers and probably a few other ones. Obviously, the animation team, you would need to get back for that, too. You would also need to figure out if you'd be able to get the original VAs back, too. I imagine they probably could, but I don't know for sure. That's kind of one of the things where it comes to, uh, for whoever manages to get the license, that's kind of the one thing that people have kind of always been questioning about. If it is Crunchyroll or if it's just somebody else entirely that gets the license, it kind of begs the question of would they get the original VAs or would they get sound alikes? Which that that part is probably the one that yeah is definitely the part that most people don't want. That second part, I said, isn't. Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like Crunchyroll has good hands with Ruby. I don't know. I haven't seen Ice Queen them, and that's a Crunchyroll original, so. They got the whole thing on YouTube as well. Yeah, but and I heard nothing, I've been thinking there's like a whole playlist for that thing. And I heard nothing but good things from Ice Queen Dumb, so I mean I haven't finished it, but it does I haven't finished it yet, but it is interesting. But back to the topic. Again, Agno, how can you Agno, you can't assume that control is the good answer for Ruby when again you don't know what they do when they, in terms of like get, actually getting license to a, to a series. I mean, what if it, what if they do get the license, but they end up screwing it up? Not to mention, do you know who even own, who owns Crunchyroll nowadays? Sony. Sony. Oh yeah. You Sony. already you you already know my stance on some of the. They have some good things, but you already know it, know what my stance is for some of them for some of their stuff well, these days. Wait, and, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on! You're telling me that Sony own freaking Crunchyroll owns. Uh, yeah, yes, they own Crunchyroll and they own Funimation. They what own the fuck? No, how? Oh! They bought it. Simple as that. They bought the license. They they pretty much bought bought the company. They got both, and basically merged oh. them into the same thing. Oh bullshit! No, what the hell is Sony? What the hell does Sony even want with a freaking platform that that streams the anime? Simple money, because they know because they know that anime money is good for them. At uh, least. As expected, for freak's sake. And then again, that and Spidey are really the only things they got. They got that's making them anything right now. Well, when they're not screwing that one up. Well, I don't know. Maybe we can make some money. It does have like key. The stuff you can mean, do with that. I mean, that's the only other thing that was still making Rooster Teeth some bank. At least, like before we found out that they're going to be shutting down soon. Yeah. I'll say well, this. I guess. Oh. Sorry, go ahead. No, uh, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. Go ahead. I, yeah. you probably had something important to say. Oh, I was, I was going to say some of Rooster Teeth's other projects have at least been said that they're still going to like release as originally planned. But after that, everything else is kind of lit, uh, up in the air. Like uh, the final season of Red versus Blue, that's still planned to release as it was originally scheduled. And Volume Nine Beyond, like I mentioned last time, that. 
apparently still is happening. Like from what I've heard, that one actually is still going to be released soon. Question: What win, is I, volume? What is volume nine behind? I don't really know the details. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I already told you. It's it's basically the stuff that they didn't get to add in originally. I assume mm-hmm. it probably also re- like basically, I guess like the other stuff relating to the characters that were still like in Atlas before Team Ruby got back. Basically that. So basically, you can say. I guess, in a sense, it's like an extended cut or something, if you want to think of it that way. Yeah. But, uh, basically, but basically, like, the the side story. And I imagine the uh, the epilogue that was, like, originally planned for Volume uh, 9 probably is going to be there, but I don't know for sure about that part. Yeah. Yeah, basically, yeah, Volume 9 was a bit screwed in terms of budget. Which, which a lot of a lot of the haters are probably gonna gonna assume because they're, they're haters, so they're not gonna think that uh, oh money is definitely oh money is not is not like uh, so difficult to get in terms of companies. Have you worked in a company before? Have you worked on an animated project? Hey, a good example of a of a series that nearly got screwed because of money, Kenshin Chaos, and that's a fan made project over there. Yeah. That's uh, I can't believe you just said that, but okay. But yeah, I had to. I mean, that's fair. That's fair because even for that for that series, like before mm-hmm. episode four and everything else, they didn't really have that much money until uh, everybody decided to back the Kickstarter just to make sure that everything could stay afloat and that the series could still go on. So pretty much. I mean, it probably isn't the exact same circumstances, but still, like, it at least tells you, yeah, like, the, this stuff isn't exactly cheap. And even then, it, it comes with, like, a few things you got to put into it to make sure that it all goes well. Pretty much. Also, I guess in terms of that epilogue and the epilogue of Volume Nine, from from what I've checked in terms of the tweets of the creators, they actually found out that they can they actually find out that found out that they can can actually release this epilogue to the public. So, yep, everyone can watch that epilogue, even though it's only an animatic. You can still watch it. Yay! You don't sound that excited. It's thematic. I prefer the real thing, but I, I mean, you know, the full animation is gonna take a while, though. Pretty much. Yeah. Man, which I guess, like... which I guess, brings to the next thing uh, in terms of if someone gets the license of Ruby, how the hell are they gonna continue it? Like, first of all, okay, let's see. Which animation studio would they get, and or are they seriously going to change the voice actors? I mean, okay, let's see. If they get like a, a studio that actually gets that actually makes like good animation, then yes. But if they were going as far as to literally change the voice actors with different people, fuck no. Yeah, so I have to agree not- with you, guys. I gotta agree with you that on that one, guys. Don't change the voice actors. <laughs> Like, for real, it would be egregious if you did that. Like, I'm sorry. Like, you can say whatever the one, you can say whatever the, whatever the hell you want with this show, but honestly, the voice act, like, the voice acting, like, the people who voice to the characters in this show, like, you cannot replace them with other people. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know, you could, I guess you could do it for Asben Hotel, even though that's not really a good show, but you cannot do it for Ruby whatsoever. And I, I'd say at least for Hasman Hotel, that part it kind it that part it at least worked out mostly because one, a part of the whole thing about the voice cast changing was kind of uh, Vivian Madrano's like choice anyway, where she kind of wanted like Broadway actors or Broadway level actors to play the characters. So that part kind of was already the case. And even then, the only thing for like Hasman before them was the pilot. Like, that was the only thing you really had to go off on before the actual show came out. Ruby, on the other hand, already had its full show out for, like, over 10 years. And at that point, most of the voice actors 
stayed the same except for the few that were either let go or in the uh, Roman's case, you probably already know. Mm. Like that, like that's like one of the only few cases where the voice actors changed, but that was one where they kind of had to make kind of had to make that choice. But most of the other characters like usually kept like their voices and were pretty much like I, I, so iconic to like the character that it's kind of hard to imagine some of them without that original voice or at least something that sound close enough to it. So that, really that nice. that's kind of, like that's kind of going to be one thing that if the show and that's like if the show gets picked up, it probably would, but God knows who actually will get it and God knows how they're gonna treat it. But if they do get the series, uh yeah, the their best bet would have to be to get the original voice actors, but at the same time, if they didn't that's basically gonna make it feel like they're going to be shot in the foot because we already know that the, the fan base is gonna be mad if they don't get the OG voices back. Especially if their plan is is to just continue the show show from where it left off instead of well, you already know what you already know what people probably don't want want, but if, if they decide the the like basically reboot it wholesale, they're not gonna they I don't know if they do that. I don't like I'm not saying they should. But if that was going to happen, that probably would be the case where they would just get different VAs, even though it's like they kind of already rebooted it with like Ice Queen them in a manga, but that's less of a reboot and more just like a retelling with new stuff added. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I guess in terms of the like, if they continue, like, actually, there is the next thing we could talk about. If, aside from voice acting, the story in terms of like Ruby, will it get continued or will it get rebooted? Honestly, I'm going to go with continue the story because why the hell would you reboot it when the story is not finished yet? Like, like uh, for the haters, if you hate the show that one that wanted rebooted, no, I'm sorry to say this, but no. You cannot rebuke, re like you reboot of a story that isn't even finished yet. Maybe after, maybe, perhaps, maybe once uh, Ruby has like concluded, perhaps you can do a reboot. But you cannot do a reboot when the story is not finished yet. That's just no. I'm sorry, but no. I'm I mean, sorry. That, you can't that do whole reboot. Kind of thing, that whole kind of thing has kind of been done before with other stuff. Like the whole rebooting when the actual full on story hasn't been finished. I mean, you like if you're going to reboot it, you might as well finish it. But there's like some other stuff out there where stuff has been rebooted, but they never really got fully finished. Like, I guess the 2011 Thundercats reboot is one instance because that one never really got finished with what it was trying to do. And then it just ended up making uh, one more. Thundercast reboot that kind of was just hated by everybody. Um, sorry to bring up the webhead again, but this basically has been done to them like twice already in live action. Once with like the Raimi films and the Amazing Spider-Man films have kind of had the same thing. The only difference, um, whatever the heck they were doing with those movies, it, it just wasn't working. So they kind of had. To <laughs> what the heck was that? Was that dumb? what? I, no. I, I, I thought I heard a dog or something. Wait, hold, hold on. Because I thought I just saw, I thought I heard something in the background. Ah, uh, no, it was probably um because it was a background noise. <laughs> well, I uh, know. Um, I guess um as I was saying, like those are a few things that kind of ended up in kind of ended up that way and then there's even like i'm trying to think of a few other examples to use here for like stuff that kind of got canceled like got canceled before they were properly finished and then just got rebooted without the actual story being like done i'd say like probably like for something like that it, like not saying it's impossible for them to do that for Ruby, but that probably wouldn't be the most, that probably wouldn't be the best outcome considering the fact that, well, people have kind of been waiting to see how the story of the main show ends and kind of just the reboot it to just send us right back to the beacon arc. Like God knows, like for 
how many times has it t- how many times has it really been that we've been there because i mean let's see we, we we we've gone back obviously we were there for like there for like the first three seasons um obviously the shonen jump manga did that and i believe there was another manga that did, did the same thing where it just focused on that uh the blaze blue crossover technically takes place during that era considering the designs for the characters and obviously ice queen them sends you straight back so like i i at least the the few that i've counted right now that's at least five times that that we've pretty much just been at beacon and four that we've gone back to it there, there's probably a few more i would say ruby chibi but that one doesn't really count because that one's just kind of its own thing to begin with it's but, a funny spin-off. <laughs> yeah, so it's like like Ruby Chibi, like I would count it as the sixth thing, but difference is like one, those came out when the show was still in like its early early volumes. And two, the the like the tone of that is just completely different from what, what the main show was. So Ruby Chibi at least like it gets a pass for, for it being related to the to related to like the beacon era of the series, but the other four things I mentioned, like alongside the original show, yeah, I'm pretty sure at this point, even though, like, yes, like we love the Beacon arc, but for like the people who want to see how the show continues, I'm pretty sure we want to go past that. Even if I feel like the reason why they kept going back to that is probably because that's probably when the series was like considered to be either at its peak or like the the point that most people liked it before the later seasons pretty much led to like a bit of a wedge between who liked it and the people who start to dislike the series. But like, I'm pretty sure at this point, it's like, even though we like that stage of the series, it would be nice to actually see a little more than just the beacon era of the series. And just to make another series, just to say, oh, uh, we're restarting this thing from the ground up. We're going back to beacon, beacon again. I'm pretty sure some fans are gonna riot if they find that out, if they find out the series gets rebooted only to find out no it, it's not like re, it's not like recapping the stuff that already happened from there and then just restarting at like mystery yeah. or anything they're like no no let's just restart this thing literally from ground zero people would hate that i'm pretty sure people would hate that that considering that we've basically been there for like five times at least for like the normal stuff I agree here. That's why I think it's the best. It's a. It's best to just finish the story before we think about uh, doing something different with the uh, with Ruby. Because again, no, you you just can't. You can't make a reboot without even properly finishing the story. If that's the if you make a reboot without even finishing the story, that would mean following the story pointless. That means that the entirety of the the stuff we saw in Ruby was just pointless because we're getting another reboot. Yeah, and it's like, if you really have to reboot the series, it's like, if you got to do that, I mean, at least wait, like, a, a, at least wait a while and at least finish the original series before you decide that it, it's time to reboot the series. Because, again, the, the main show never got its proper conclusion. Like, it, it never really got its conclusion. So it's like, it would be best to actually get the series to like an an actual ending whether that would be whatever it was that that uh the crew at rooster teeth were initially planning for the series ending to be or if it's like a new one that the new studio probably has in mind i i don't know which way they would take it but it's like if like to see an actual ending for the series it's like you might as well just finish the original show like if you pick up the license it, it probably would be best to finish the original show and then like if you have other stuff planned for like the franchise then you could reboot it like not immediately but like at least wait a little while until like you feel like it would be the best time to do that like to get the breathe new life into the series like after the original run is like actually done i uh, know part of me wants a next gen of uh, booby <laughs> Uh, no. next game would be a next game would be a sequel, not a reboot. Uh, Pretty no. much, I would have I mean, a sequel. I, I mean, on I mean, on like unless it, unless like what you mean by it is that the reboot is seen for like a new generation of people who haven't seen the original. 
Yeah, but like no, I'm complete next gen for movies. But yeah, I mean, but yeah, I'm, but if you meant like next gen in the traditional sense, then no, that would just be a sequel. That wouldn't even be a reboot. Yeah, and also I don't think I want to see a next gen of Ruby, considering how next gens in some series are tend to be looked at. Uh, the only good next that gen around is My Hero Academia. That's the only good one. My Hero My Academia opinion. doesn't even have a real one. That's just fan made. Yeah, I was gonna say that. What are you talking about, Mario? Mario, My Hero Academia is just is literally the main series. Huh? My Hero Academia is considered a next gen. When it's called a next gen, that's not. When they say it's a next gen, like a next gen anime or shonen, they mean by for like the next generation of people who would be getting into this stuff. They're not referring to like it being like the next generation of the characters that exist in that universe. Yeah, when it's people, when, when, people call M- when, when people call MHA or like any of the other series that's like published alongside it as like next gens, they mean like for the next generation of readers reading it. Even though MHA has been out since like 2014, 2015, the manga. So it, like you would just call it a current gen. It wouldn't exactly be new because it's been out for a while. And even then, most of the stuff that's considered uh, next gen is like on its way out. MHA is set, is set up to end at some point. JJK is also, I'd say Black Clover is probably the only other one that like next to it. They're still like, don't really know where, where exactly that's going to go. And then there's like a right. few others out there too, but still. The, like, like Ruby doesn't exactly count. Like, Ruby or MHA don't, doesn't really count in that definite, like, in like the the in like the proper definition of like the of like a next gen where it's like oh the cast the characters have like a basically it focuses on their kids or something that like neither of those two series really relate to that kind of thing pretty much um okay uh guys uh so there's gonna be a ch- bit of a change of a plan right now i'm actually doing something so i'm just gonna mute myself and then i'll be back to you later on some stuff had to happen on front tree right now so yeah all right. Gotcha. All right, so I'll be right back. Just muting myself. You guys can go yeah. ahead. I'm, I'll be back later on. Anyway, uh, to be honest, I don't think we need an. I do think they should probably continue the original show. What a but what company I'll probably choose. Uh, you already said Crunchyroll, or at least that's the one you. Besides, besides Crunchyroll, because the only other company I think think of is H twenty four. To be honest, that's the first I thing think, that pops to mind. I think that's the one that like most people kind of said. Which I don't think they would be a bad choice. Like they probably could treat it well. The question is really just um, who actually like. The, I guess the the real question about that is really. Just like we said before, would they even get like the crew from the original show back at all? Like, if, like if not the writers and uh, animation team, then at least the voice actors. Like, a- at least get them back in some way. That that's they, kind of the one thing. But this kind of relates to just about any company that probably would pick up the series. Now that I think about it, and even they, then, like, oh, sorry, go ahead. Is like any other studio that can probably pick up a company besides A24. I think another company to probably pick them up is like Hulu or something. Maybe Prime. I'd, be I, I'd say Prime probably would be one of the better bets. They they treat their shows good enough. Well, I mean, then again, A24, at least like what has been, kind of relates to that, so... I'd say, like, in terms of, like, if you were to put it on another streaming service, Amazon Amazon Prime probably would be your best bet because they do treat their shows pretty well. Not to mention, this wouldn't be their first time, like, reviving a, a show from, like, another network since uh, there was, like, another animated show called Pantheon that was on uh, AMC's uh, streaming service at one point, but they canceled that show at, at one season, and then the next thing, thing I know later on... Uh, Turns out that Amazon picked up this 
the series to conclude it with its uh, with its planned second season. So, like, I, I guess, like, if any, like, in terms of the streaming services, not necessarily who would be animating it, but just who broadcast the show. Amazon, I feel like, probably would be the best bet because they do seem to treat their shows pretty well. The other that choice... That in Crunchyroll because they already got the show. So. Uh, the, 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 again, depends on depends for Crunchyroll. I mean, yeah, they already got the license, like one spinoff show, and then like obviously the whole show, including its ninth season, being exclusive to it. But like again, like that one kind of depends. Like that one's kind of a little up in the air. But it's like they probably would be the most likely to get it because they already got like that a little bit of that relationship with like a uh, rooster teeth for them to probably pick it up if they're interested. But like the other, but I'd, I'd say like, but any other like a uh, service that would probably air it, I'd say Amazon is probably the most likely, but in terms of like the other streaming services, obviously HBO max is out because that one is owned by Warner Bros and they don't really want the show anymore. Um, Paramount is probably something, but I think Paramount would only really want Red versus Blue. And that's simply, even though like Red versus Blue mostly strayed away from its Halo origins, the characters for the most part still look like, look like they came out of Halo. So if it was for something like that show, I'm pretty sure they probably would pick that up. Like they probably would pick that one up at least, but not so sure about if they pick up Ruby. And they do kind of need some content on that surface anyway because there isn't really a whole lot that's still keeping people engaged but i don't yeah, know this is that crappy halo show yeah yeah, yeah. Um, then there's netflix would be the wor- like netflix has some good stuff but i feel like they probably would be the worst case of scenario for this considering their reputation when it comes to uh well their animated shows because a lot of the time at least like some of their well just not just their animated ones even some of their live action ones but their animated ones definitely get the short end of the stick now it seems because a lot of them if they're not making like uh i guess big mouth for stranger things money funnily enough that show's getting an animated spinoff too um if, if they don't make it money like that or at least not ranking in as much views as something like those uh chances are that the show probably would be canceled by like two seasons or in something like inside jobs case literally the second half half of the first season because that's kind of what happened to that and who really know i mean not saying that is what's going to happen if they get ruby but considering the track record you can't really be you, you can't really be too certain like you it, it, it's kind of iffy. Like it's kind of iffy. It's like a 50-50 chance, or more like a seventy to thirty kind of chance. Seventy percent being it probably would be canceled. Thirty percent, thirty percent meaning it probably would be handled a little better. But it, it only time would tell if they're the ones who even get get the license for the series in the first place. And I guess like animation studios well i already said like i feel like dylan goo probably would be like like him and his studio probably would be one of the best candidates glitch i'd say maybe but i'm pretty sure there's been a little bit of controversy with them lately so i I mean they're the ones helping they're some of the ones helping uh dylan goo back like like backing him and his company to be able to get the series but it's like it, it really depends like for that part at least and then like you said um hulu well i think that depends although hulu kind of goes a little hand in hand with disney plus i like for the most part like it goes hand in hand with that but no uh, i don't I, think I, it's I, don't, I, I don't know like i don't know not, like i don't know like i don't know how well that would go not saying not saying it would be a good thing, not saying it would be inherently a bad thing either, but I feel like it depends. I, I feel like it depends. Like like on one hand, I mean at least with some of the newer stuff Disney Plus has, some of their stuff they're treating well, but not all of it like gets the 
dealt the best best hand, especially if it's like something that's like airing on Disney Channel first and then like moving over to uh uh plus by like the next day. Like it like that one is not the exact same case as Netflix, but it's also one where it's like a 50-50 chance for like what you could really be going with for that show. So it's like I like I'm not saying they would be the best like Hulu and Disney Plus would be the best choices. Like I'm not saying they're the worst. I'm not saying they're the best either. I'm just kind of iffy when it comes to them for this. Like for this, I'm not sure they would be the best choice, but time t- time would tell, but I'm not I'm not too sure. Netflix like I said uh, not too sure about them, so yeah, like it, like your best bet for like a streaming service it probably has to be Amazon. Like at, at this point, with, with how well they treat their stuff, it, it's got to be Amazon. The only thing I could hope for is to say it doesn't really end up the, a similar way like a has been Hotel or Invincible, where they kind of held off like how long the show came out for so long. A part of the reason for them being held back was because of the writer strike from last year, but Invincible was kind of a worse case because. I mean, it's kind of going on right now, but it's like its second season released like last year or at least started only for there to be like a four month break just to get back to the show, like just to get back to the later half. And then people kind of forgot it was back until like a little bit later. And I'm not saying that is what would happen to Ruby if they do that. But again, like it depends, but in terms of like letting the creators do what they need to do or what they feel like they would want to do with the series, Amazon would would be like the best bet for something like that, at least like for that part of it. But the scheduling part is like, low is kind of the factor that's like questionable right now. I, I I'm rambling on a bit. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to explain this. No, you're good, but. Yeah, I think I think you're pretty much right about that. Yeah. To be honest, I think the most likely scenario to probably pick them up is Crunchyroll. I don't know. Crunchyroll just seems the most likely. Yeah, especially since they got the best. At least right now, they've already got like a some sort of relationship with Rooster Teeth anyway. Like they already got some relationship with them anyway, so it 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 would make the most sense. Like at least like if they're going for like one of the big companies and not going for something like Glitch or Dylan Goo, even though Dylan Goo has said that he's had history with like the crew in the earlier seasons. Yeah, Crunchyroll probably would be the best bet considering that they already got like a stake on the license, at least like just for it being on their service to begin with. So yeah. Yeah, but mm, yeah. I don't know. I think the future of Ruby depends on the fans, to be honest. Yeah, just maybe it gets enough feedback, it'll probably get saved. I mean, it kind of seemed that way when it came to the Green Light Volume 10 movement, but eh, that didn't exactly. I mean, Maybe this time it might work out, but during that it didn't really seem to, considering that, well, I mean, many months after that, we ended up finding out that, well, you know what's going on right now. Yeah. It's basically shutting down, and... I mean, they haven't shut down yet, but, like, they are in the process of it. Like, of course, like they're in the process of doing that right now, though. Yeah, maybe, maybe on April 6th, maybe in April, we'll probably get an update or something on what's going on. I'd hope so. Yeah. Maybe we kind of need a little more to know about. Like we haven't got like an entire update or something. So probably in April if we get an update. Maybe May. Yeah, like 
hopefully sooner rather than later. Like, it would have to be sooner rather than later, considering the whole time frame about them shutting down. Yeah, true. True that. But... Actually, maybe this article, I'm kind of curious of what actually shut them down. Like, what actually made the studio shut down? Might want to pull pull the article back up in here. Like maybe that'll also help a, help a little bit to check it back in. I would present screen, but I'm scared to get in trouble with YouTube. So yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure if you just showed the article, it's not going to be a problem. There's like many YouTube channels that just that literally their whole video was just doing that. But like, I mean, some of those is basically just the uh, well, the more annoying people on here, but still. There are literally like whole YouTube videos where it's literally just just looking through an article. I, I'm pretty sure you'll be fine looking like just checking through the that check. I, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a problem. Uh, it's an article. Yeah, we'll see. If it's basically. I guess the best little skip to the part was Mumbo Jumbo. Jesus, 225 pain members. This is that meant many people have Rooster Teeth? For like Rooster Teeth first? Mm, I, I didn't even realize it was that many. Okay, yeah. I'm back, back for a little bit, I guess. Uh, what did I miss? Oh, uh, well, I guess like us uh, discussing about who possibly could have got the license or like what uh, network, but we were also checking back over the art, the articles for the case about them shutting down. Oh okay. Well, I guess for, I guess for me, in terms of who could, who would be the one to have the license, I don't know. I I, I just don't know at this point. I don't I don't blame you. I mean, I, I was saying like I guess like at least for who could air it, I was saying Amazon probably would like Amazon Prime probably would be the best bet for at least like the, being the one still it. Considering that they've pretty much been treating their shows pretty good. I suppose so. Yeah, but basically what the article says was to shine down, but to be honest, I Yeah, um I think your mic just cut out for a second. Me? Oh, oh wait, or or maybe it was just a reader muted himself. I thought you, I thought your audio cut out a second, like or something. No, probably just goes to my room. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. I guess uh, something else we could talk about in terms of like no, the, no. the. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, I'm back uh, before getting interrupted. So as I was saying, I guess the other stuff we could talk about in terms of the whole shutting down Ruby is, I guess, I guess uh, all the haters, uh, <laughs> what we think of the haters celebrating about it. Like, I haven't seen it, but from what I heard, heard from like other people say on Twitter is that, yeah, people are, are beginning to literally just celebrate, like, at all, like literally just to shoot the fireworks. Oh, 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 oh yeah. The company that we despise is shutting down. Oh, I yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard about that part. I mean, I, I guess that part is kind of expected, but honestly, I didn't know. I, I didn't know about that part. I mean, I have seen videos where people have talked about it, but the people who, who I've heard talk about who's had problems with the show or problems with the company considering like how their business practices and stuff that's happened behind the scenes with them, like... They didn't really, like, at least the few that I've seen videos about that have talked about this, they weren't exactly hating or anything. 
they literally were just saying that they they're kind of like I, I maybe not indifferent but they just weren't exactly sure of like how to fully think about the situation like it was kind of like a double-edged sword for them like on one hand it's like they weren't exactly a fan of like the stuff that Brewster Teeth had been doing like both with the series or really just their business pra practices with like their their employees but at the same time they also felt like a, they they also kind of felt a bit bad about it like or at least like like it it, it kind of felt like it, a bit of an end of an era for them mostly because it's like because they were fans of Ruby like earlier on like before then and some of their other stuff but just wasn't exactly like they they weren't cool with like what what's been happening after that like is basically what I'm saying here like that like at least like most of the ones I've seen that I've talked about it were kind of people who are mostly like in between about the whole thing. there probably are haters that like videos are like the people who actually legitimately hate it and but the ones that I found were mostly just like ones that have like had criticisms about the series but weren't like just hating it just to hate or anything mm -hmm. yeah I suppose so Although, again, that's just from what I've been hearing on Twitter. Then again, it's just Twitter we're talking about. Of course, yeah. it would get like... Yeah, not not everybody on Twitter is like the most uh, reliable. Yeah. Well, just, you know, not, not, not everybody's um, fully sane there. So, they re really, some of the stuff there you kind of have to take for granted. So. Yeah, true that, but to be honest, I think. To be honest, I think we just have to wait until something gets announced because it's really up in the air for the movie right now. Like it could probably get canceled or something. Like anything can happen. Hopefully, it doesn't get canceled. Hopefully, it gets continued. Please. I'm, continue. hope, I'm hoping it, it get, I'm hoping they actually get the continue it so they actually can get to whatever they had planned for the end of the show. Like I, I'm hoping. Yeah, they same. Get, I like I don't know how likely it is, but I'm all we can really do for that part is kind of just hope, like hope, hope something yeah. good. Yeah, pretty much. And also, if it does get canceled, and if, if there's someone, if it does get canceled, and someone comes to me saying, "Hey, you want to check out my fan fiction?" And actually, I actually gave up the ending of Ruby. No, get your stupid, crappy fan fic out of my face. <laughs> because I'm sorry, I'm not going to read your pity fan fiction just because you hate the show. <laughs> And I'm not going to read your pity ending because it's not official. I mean, I mean, would it even be considered fan fiction if it's hate if it's made out of hatred, though? Okay, okay, maybe it's just an ex that's just an exaggeration, but it's just it just it comes to a point like it comes to a point that people like make like fan fiction like telling like their own like a retelling of Ruby basically rewrites. It just comes up a bit of a pity. It's like it's like you like you really have nothing else to do, but to just rewrite the entire story just because you hate what you got in. I mean, I could give a good example is um a little fan series called Fixing Ruby, and yeah, I have not seen it because I do not want to see it, but I have seen someone actually criticize uh, the the first volume of uh, Fixing Ruby, and from what I've read, yeah, no, it's really bad. It doesn't even fix anything. Just makes everything worse. What it just retreads over some of the same stuff, but like changes some of it in a way that just didn't seem like it worked. You know, actually, yeah, kind of like that. For, let's see if I, let's see if I can remember some of the stuff. Let's see. Uh, from what I can remember, what the first volume of Fixing Ruby was, uh, Jean, for whatever reason, is the main lead. Like he's the one who gets more most of the protagonism. Uh, at, and in terms of like, wait, wait, wait. wait. To be fair, it already kind of feels like that in the show. That part doesn't really feel too different. Yeah, I guess so. But like, again, the the show is called Team Ruby, so of course it would be more focused on them than just the the coming relief guy. But uh, aside from that, I think he he does something that is also pretty out of character in terms of like how he deals with Cardin. And from what I remember, he literally black blackmails him.
that's uh, yeah, that's a uh, that's a uh, edge lord uh, in so many ways. If I'm being honest. Um. Let's see. Uh, let's see. And uh, what they also did is they made um, Ruby a bit w like way more wiser than she is, even though it makes no sense, especially in the context of the first volume, because she's a freaking kid. Why would she be this wise when she's like why, not why even a year old? When she was only like 15, how is she that wise? <laughs> Literally. Like and oh, and aside from Ruby Weiss in this, uh, they made uh, also Weiss is like even more racist in terms of the whole funnest thing. Like she's uh, like I think she's even like way more racist than why they had her be in the first volume. I uh, I don't know what it is, but from what that's what I don't know what it is, but that's what I heard. That says a lot because uh, it, like if I if I it, like can I be real with you about how I felt about Weiss earlier in the show? I ain't like. Yes, her go at ahead, all. go ahead. I, I ain't like. I ain't like her at all in season one. Like I didn't start to like her to like season two and three. Like volume one, I just hated her. I'm sorry. I didn't like her at all in volume one. Like, like, I, like, I, I, I'm sorry. Like, anybody who did like, like, not saying it's a bad thing for you to like what I do like Weiss, but I didn't really start to actually like her that much as a character till like as the series kept going, especially by like the volume four mark is I'd say is probably when I was like more hooked to the character than before then. Volume two and three was when I was starting to warm up to the character, but volume one, no. Like even even though there was some development for her in volume one, I, I didn't like her at all. And her kind of being racist towards the funnest the whole time during that didn't help with it either. Like that and just her being kind of bratty in season one. Yeah, I guess to the people who think that Weiss wasn't like a good character later on after volume three. Yeah, keep in mind she was worse in volume one, so I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, yeah. Like, it, I mean, it's like if if you didn't like her in the later seasons, it's like okay, that that's fine. Like it, like or you just didn't like the direction that the writing took for. Her. Yeah, th that's completely fine. But it's like, let's not pretend that uh, let's not pretend that she was a saint in season one. Season <laughs> one, she was worse. <laughs> like, 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 like. Oh, okay, like, say say what you will, guys. I mean, it's like volume one is good. Like, I'm not saying volume one was bad. It, it was good, but it's like. When it comes to Weiss, I mean, she got better as a character over time. But for me personally, don't like, don't blame me for this. But she kind of sucks in in season one. I am sorry. I, I don't care. I, I don't give a crap. Like I don't get, um, give a crap. People hear me and hear me good. Season one, Weiss was trash. <laughs> oh my god! Well, I, I can hear a lot of volume one fans like coming at you with pitchforks. Wait, did you uh, just I, say Vibe One's trash? What the hell? I no, not that. Volume one, volume one Weiss. Volume One Weiss, in my opinion, was trash. Volume One Weiss, like her, the way. Oh she was in no! Volume one. Oh volume no! One Weiss, no! Not, not, no, the, not no. the season itself. The season is good, but I'm not a fan of how Weiss is in that in that volume at all. Yeah, she's a. Yeah, so when so yeah, when you make a character that is a bit bad in the first volume, but actually actually grow actually grows a bit, and then you literally make a fan uh, literally go to your like little rewrite that fixes apparently fixes everything, and then proceed to make her even worse. Yeah, I think that's telling you that uh, you're not really fixing anything, my guy. You're just making it worse. And uh, the last thing that I've heard that is bad in terms of the f first volume of Fixing Ruby is that, you know how uh, in order to uh, be signed to Beacon Academy, you literally have to go for like a, how do you say it? How, how what's the word, the word I'm, that I'm trying to find? What, an initiation? Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, you basically have to go for initiation where you literally have to collect uh, puzzles like chess puzzle and fight your way through grims and this the grims aren't even the main enemies it's just barren wolves 
So like animal abuse. Bears and wolves. Literally, regular bears and wolves. So animal abuse. Yeah, but yeah. Freaking um, bears and wolves, animals that won't even are pretty wary of they're like super very wary of humans that would attack that wouldn't even attack you unless provoked. No words, no words. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, so, that's one way to make me not read it. <laughs> Well, it's not really a re it's not really a fan fiction that you read. It's actually like a YouTube thing, a YouTube series. Huh? So, mm, yeah, no, don't bother. It doesn't like th th it's funny how this series is called Fixing Ruby, but yet they does that. Like, it doesn't fix anything. It just makes uh, things even even more dumber than what we got. Huh? But uh, yeah. There's a good. There's a reason why I honestly I will say this. I will keep on saying this until uh, we get something. I will not read a fan fiction or like a pity rewrite or even something like that just to so that uh, I get the ending because it's just no. It's that, I mean not saying that is not saying that fan fiction is like terrible. I, I mean I read a lot of fan fiction, but it's just that I feel like the most. I feel like. A lot of the Ruby fan fiction, especially the ones that retail the entirety of Ruby, come from people that really just don't like the show, that really hate it, and just did like, well, you know what? I'm gonna fix it myself by doing my own uh, my my own take on it. Which, like, really? Is it, it's just it's just a bit pity. Like, here's the thing: fan fiction, like fan series of Ruby, like Ruby Ev Evermore or or uh, Ruby. Dust Queen, those are like those are fan series that were made out of love for Ruby. Like they aren't, they weren't like made because oh the people around it ate it and wanted ate it Ruby. It was just wanting to change it, uh, all of those of the quote unquote terrible choices that were made. Those series were made out of love for Ruby, and they're not even re and they're not even like rewrites. They're they're just fan projects. They're just like fan series telling their own story that has nothing to do with the canon. Well, okay, from what I've checked, at least. So yeah, that's that's my that's my take on it. If if I want to see Ruby and and I want to see the official thing, I don't want to read a fan fiction because it's not gonna really give me like the ending that I want because it's not like the real thing. Yeah, and my take on it is. It depends on the fans. It really does. <laughs> and depends on who puts up the studio and if they get the Athens back. Please, God, get the Athens back. But even if they don't get the Athens back, who would you want to voice them besides the original Athens? No one. I want the original actors. <laughs> No, he's just saying if if it was a case where they couldn't get the original ones back, because there might be some oh. cases like because there probably would be like some cases where like the studio that gets it probably would be like and like probably be like in like a like a different country or city from like where the original VAs would have been doing their recording. Sometimes some shows do that. Oh, okay. Like, unless I... unless unless they were to do it remotely, but like. Not too much stuff is doing doing it like that now. They were only doing it like when COVID happened, and then like older examples of this kind of thing. Sometimes they would just have to fly like the whole uh, cast to like where the location for a show would be uh, done at. Like let's say, oh, like if like um the people who like the recording studio like takes place, like let's say for like one show, like it takes place like the the recording studios in America, but the voice actors are Canadian and like for like the like for this they would pretty much have to be flown out just like most of them they probably would have to be flown out just to do it like again like this is like an older example it's not done like this all the time now but like an older example they would have done it like that other times it would have to be done remotely but like 
even that one isn't as common now. It was like earlier, earlier in like this. Well, it, well, earlier in the 2020s, but like that was mostly because COVID was a thing. Everybody had to stay home, but now, not, now, not not as much. Like I mean, COVID still it still is a thing, but like not as big as it like was at the start. So like the the remote thing isn't done nearly as much now. Like it, most people are just back in an actual studio doing the recordings rather than doing it from home and then sending it sending it through an email for like the people to edit. Hmm. No, I suppose so, I guess. Yeah, but that's uh, I think we covered all the top bits we can talk about. I don't think there's that much we can add to it unless you guys got any like closing thoughts. Like any closing thoughts. Oh, I guess all I can say is just cross your fingers and don't lose hope. Even if yeah. uh, even if like the, the show actually even if the show never like gets to continue, I guess be glad that we actually got to watch it because Ruby is like yeah, Ruby is like the best thing that I've watched. Like, man, just I like I know I know it has flaws, but honestly, I don't care. I enjoyed I enjoyed the heck out of this show, and I will still enjoy it no matter what. So if it does get canceled, well, I guess I'm I am glad to have watched it, and no matter what, uh, this show will always be in my heart. And I guess for like my thoughts on it, uh, I'll say this at least. I, like, like, like you said, reader, my fingers are, are crossed for this whole thing. Like, I honestly do hope the show does get like treated well and does end up in better hands. Like, it does end up in good ha- hands for the show to continue and for them to finish the story that either the crew at Rooster Teeth either originally planned to, or however it might have been, might be reworked for like whenever whoever gets it now i hope the i hope whoever gets it treats it well but if the show doesn't like if the show does get canceled or doesn't get picked up then i'll say this at least at least at least we had some good memories with with the show like like at least cherish what what we had with the show like i'm i have my problems with like the later portions of like the like the atlas era of the series i i have my problems with that but for the most part, I still enjoy the show for the most part, even if I got like some problems with like the writing later later on in the show. But I still like I can still say I at least enjoy the show. So it's like it, it, it's like, hey, problems or not, at least there were still some good times there. Like, like at least we still had some good ones. At least cherish that. Mm-hmm. And for me. I'm enjoying Ruby. I'm, I'm currently on my second viewing, and I'm enjoying it so far. And to be honest, I think it's my top two anime. <laughs> oh my god! It, it's my top two anime, to be honest. So yeah, I don't care top what you two, say. Wait, up. wait, top two or top tier? He top said top two. two. So you okay, can top two. Guess, you can already guess what that number one is. Uh, fairy tale. Yep, you guess what? <laughs> I mean, when your tweet when your Twitter literally has um, if written the uh, best waifu er- a skeleton, I think it's obvious. <sighs> yeah. But just the mere fact you call it anime, like, <laughs> I, I mean, mean I, 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 it's not like it's not like not like a incorrect a world but word, but um, it's not really in. Japanese anime until we got in Japanese anime. Yeah, I mean, you guys already knew what my what like my stance on that whole thing since the word literally the word anime literally just means animation. Like it's literally just a Japanese term for it, meaning really anything could be like at least like from their perspective, really anything is kind of boxed in there. Even like Western animated shows, they consider that consider it that. So it's like like. Call it a cartoon, like call it a Western cartoon, call it an anime. They they pretty much are the same, like the same kind of art firm, just cultural differences and all that, pretty much. So it's like yeah. yeah so it's like, yeah. Yeah, like I mean, like even if it's not like an anime in the way how like some people might think of it, it's like I I'd say Ruby at least counts close enough to it. I mean, it's got most of the stuff down, so it's like 
it, it's fine enough if you want to call it that. I'm pretty sure most people will disagree, but it's like I'd say you're fine with calling it that. Especially since since Ice Queen them exists, you're kind of validated now, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but uh, I think the hands of will be right on pretty much all of us. Let's just hope it gets renewed or continued. Uh, pray to God it does, because I do not want it to end on volume nine. <laughs> That'll be the worst uh, place to end on. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, well, like, people have already I mean, kind of jo- people have kind of already joked about it that volume that the show ends with like like if the show doesn't get picked up it, that basically means the show really ended with a with a season that most people consider a filler season and then two movies that have nothing to do with the main story. <laughs> <That's basically laughs> just for me to the Justice League. Oh my god, we we really gotta watch just the Ruby and Justice League movies. Like, I I don't care if they're probably not that good. I still I'm still gonna go ahead and watch it if I would. Somebody, like, if one of you like, actually, wait, do they do, actually? Is it even still on Max or no, or is it anywhere else? I I no, don't it's know. But before, before, it's not a Max before, anymore. Oh, okay. I get. But I guess for, getting rid of it. Yeah, but from uh, what I remember in the one, two, three movies website, they did have the first movie, but not the the sequel. But so I don't know. Hmm. I guess we'll need to figure out something about that. Either I guess look that way, or or I suppose like uh, whatever other streaming service still has that show. Well, still has the movie for it at least. Cause... I don't know. I, I definitely know Crunchyroll didn't have it. At least the last time I checked, they they still just have only like volumes one to nine. And yeah. I don't, I don't even know if the Rooster Teeth website even had the Just League movies. They haven't even got volume nine up there yet. There is still just volume eight, but nine's supposed to be there like later. Well, hmm. if it still stays up. Yeah, okay. Um, I guess. I, f- I feel like we said uh, everything about this case at this point. Yeah, we did. I think we covered everything um, and plus a little bit over the hour mark. And we went- yeah, we kind of did. Like, Jesus, I did not realize yeah. we were here for that long. Jesus, yeah, so yeah. That said. I- yeah, hold on, hold on. I guess one last thing I can say about it is that um, um, I guess uh, from what I can do with Ruby in terms of my- when my projects and Wattpad... Yeah, I'm gonna be using the the Team Ruby in a lot of different uh, projects. Like, and it 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 don't have to, it don't have to be anything Ruby. They it literally just different alternative un- versions of the characters. Like, I mean, Mios, you already know that uh, in the um, Angelic Demonic Universe with like the four Diddly siblings, I already like I already have like uh, different versions of like uh, Team Ruby, as if they were like uh, demon hunters. Yeah, so I guess so. I guess on, on that part, you at least, I guess the skies of the limit is really what you could probably be doing with them right now. And so really, like like you said before, it's really in the fans' hands now. Maybe not like for like a proper revival or anything, but like I guess like just keeping the community alive. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I'm doing. Is that I want to keep this show alive. So yeah, I'm. I mean, I won't go as far as to literally have them everywhere in different projects like in like for one i definitely ain't not gonna have them appear in the godzilla nexus project because that would have been out of nowhere but in terms know. of other stuff in terms of other stuff uh, i'm definitely like gonna keep keep like reminding everyone that this show exists yeah i'm gonna do that too by retweeting hashtag green life i am 10 and save booby hashtag save booby <laughs> yeah Oh, I don't know. Maybe you could have them in your own projects. I mean, yeah, perhaps, uh, perhaps for your freaking idea of a Godzilla anime. Aside from, I guess, fairy tale, perhaps they could also Godzilla could also end up in the world of Ruby. Yeah, I guess so. I'm never gonna let you live that that anime pitch down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, like um, freak, like freaking one hundred episodes. Like, cheese, calm down. 
Not just that, but literally like his whole premise for it. I'm sorry, like it, it it's basically a glorified, it, it's a glorified Godzilla Godzilla multiverse series series. But instead of it being multiversal Godzillas, it's just him teaming up with fairy tale characters for like two seasons straight. <laughs> Literally, like it, like they, this is just a, a weird ass fan fiction that just so happened to be like official. Yeah, uh, I, I'm sorry, the clown on you for that for that act, no, but I'm sorry, I can't let you live that down. I can't yeah, like, yeah, God, you guys know I'm gonna let that down. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> heck, you can, I mean, heck, you can, you can say that my idea for like a Godzilla anime in terms of like yeah, the old Godzilla Nexus project that I'm doing, you could call it like a weird ass fan fiction because. Uh, the main protagonist literally turns into a Godzilla, but uh, I'm sorry, but yours is a bit worse uh, because just the addition of fairy tale. Because you like fairy tale, it's just like why? I mean, at least yours is kind of original and kind of stays in Godzilla's lane. I mean, with the, with some things that wouldn't normally be there, but it's like it, it still sounds like it's in Godzilla's lane. But the rest, uh, like, but for Acno, um. No, that no, that's still fans fiction territory. And even the fairy tale thing, you would have you would have to get in contact with the people who own the manga, the creator of the manga, and the people who own the who own and animate the anime. Which studio? You would have to contact all of the studio. <laughs> oh, studio simple. Works. The people who got, the studio who has it now, the people who yeah. have the license currently, like if if, they, if it switched studios, ask the one that's got it. Yeah. Pretty much. And besides, if you were to actually do this, like, no, don't be surprised if, like, the fandom of, like, your, like, thing might do, like, some weird ass stuff, like, oh my god, I can already imagine some f weird ass fan arts of, like, Godzilla and Erza being shipped. Oh, no, <laughs> oh no, god. No, 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 oh god. god. You, what's even know. funnier is that that fan art does this. Yeah, it's fan art does this. What? <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> You're telling me there's actually a fan art of Godzilla and Erza being shipped? Huh? No. <laughs> yeah. It is this. Yeah. Oh, what no. the fuck? Oh, and I, no. And, oh. <laughs> And 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 I thought uh, the, those and I thought those photos that I showed you about literally Erza being shaped with the humanized the shadow the edge dog and both of them have literally a gummy from a gummy guy kill as a kid. It was weird, but I guess this is the next level of weirdness. Oh no, they both they're both in the same caliber of weird. God dang! Like, are you serious, Akno? Yeah, I'm like kidding. Sh 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 <laughs> show, show, show me, show me. I I need to see it. Oh, give God. me a sec. I got the image. Oh, I got oh the image. Oh, I got Lord. the image. Uh, I gotta find it. Just show me. Show me. <laughs> give me a sec. You're gonna have to cut this part out of the video, but you're probably gonna have to cut this part out of the video, though. I mean, it depends. If it's not like over sexualized, which. No, but, no, but I'm also saying because it's kind of past the main topic. That's why I said that. Oh this yeah, man, I guess so. I I cannot see it. I cannot see it. Uh, it it's, it, in, it's in the background, but I cannot see it properly. Uh, you might want to fix that because uh, the, the this isn't. It's not really that easy to see. Aren't you? Able yeah, to do it like you did with like the the article. Can you just do it like that? Yeah, literally just do that. I gotta find the freaking fan art now. <laughs> it's it's simple. Just just put Godzilla X Erza. It's as simple as that. <laughs> yeah. I. Uh, why are we doing this? You tell me. You're the one you... who said. It. You're the one who said they were shipped. Yeah, you you got my interest, so it's again, it's your fault. That's 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 literally going to be your consequences, I know, for bringing me every single time you need a collab. You're gonna see the pink Godzilla in my in my profile picture because uh, because since you ate it and I love it, and I think it's the best thing ever. And also, whenever there's something up, I'm just gonna, something that you don't like that you think is just useless to bring to bring up. I'm gonna bring up either way. Actually, what do you think? 
What do you even think I, of the movie? Hold on. Can you can you just zoom it? Yeah, it's not really that easy to see from this far. Yeah. You're you're not zooming it. You're literally just p making it smaller, dude. Uh, or I don't know. Just actually, actually no. Click click the the blue thing, the visit button, and then let's see if uh, we get a better a better thing. This is the image. Just visit yep. the, just visit the actual page and yeah, like, and just like uh make the tab like a little bit bigger just so that it's easy to see. Yeah, just click on the just click on the visit button, and then you'll I mean you'll end up in the art, but at least we saw the image. Here's the image. They ship it, bro. That's uh, still, bro. It is still too small, bro. I, I did you not hear what we told you to do? Click the visit button. This one. There. You go. I mean, that's less a fan art, more just like grouping it all together, but just the fact that that's a thing. So, but, oh, uh, okay. You know what? You know how I feel seeing this right now? The one that got Zilla face palming. The one that I see right now, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> that's how I feel right now seeing this crap. <laughs> I mean, from I mean, from what I see in the title, it's I think it said Godzilla and Arizona meme reaction, so not really a no, fan this art. Isn't really, yeah, this isn't really a fan art at all. It's mostly just just grouping up like different different expressions they had either in movies, fan or just like some artwork. Or uh, give me a sec, got the image right here. Uh... Or bit or or better yet, or actually no, I can know. Just keep just like uh, I don't know. Skip this one and and show us the one that is in your background, like the one with the monster with Godzilla and Erza, because that's a fun art that I will say yes. This is what we want. Cool ass crossovers that is just so damn good. Yeah, that that one technically yeah, doesn't really. That, I wouldn't really count that as like a shipping one. That's more just one where they're just crossing over and teaming up. Uh, no. Pretty much. I, I don't know. It does say. It literally says. Cause well, that's us. <laughs> so that's, that's they, well, they probably they probably meant it the way the the way the new movie meant it probably. <laughs> Although to be fair, they're not really in the clear for that either because they should have known what that title meant. And I'm pretty yeah. sure they did. I'm pretty sure they did because of when they released the trailer. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut this out of the video. <laughs> My God. Yeah, yeah, just... I, I already I already told you cut this part out of the video. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, just anyway, more like edit. <laughs> no, I gotta do more editing. Yeah. You're just cutting out you're just cutting out a section from the like the last section out of the video that, that yeah. really is long. <laughs> Yeah, so no big deal. Yay, editing. Anyway, bro, bro, that's literally the part of making a video. We all go through that, so stop whining. Anyway, that said, this is Nagoji. This has been Neo. This has been Neo Scammer, or I guess Neo Cyber is another thing you could just say. And, and I'm the and I'm the Godzilla reader. I just hope that this is the last time I get here. If you ask me again, I'm gonna freaking slap you in the face. But okay, you know it's not gonna be the last time. You are. Oh, for know. fuck's sake! Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> and remember, stay big, G fan. Wait, is that... I mean, stay hey, big, Bob. movie fans. I mean, okay. stay big, movie fans. You know what? Just cut it. Cut, cut, just cut, cut it. Just cut, cut. it. Stop, stop stealing Chris's uh, well-known uh, words.